What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229. Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Last time, we went back into the castle where we saw oh, quite a lot more abuses that Kamushida is doing to the volleyball team. We had a bit of a run-in with the being in charge, but at the end of it all, Ryuji got a persona, Captain Kid. We then began our first confidant, yay! In this episode, we have a plan for tomorrow, since tomorrow at school is only most, well, for the most part, is going to be the volleyball meet. Uh, we won't have classes in the afternoon, which means we'll be able to talk to some members of the volleyball team and hopefully try to convince them to admit to Kamoshida's abuses. At the very least, we can try. I don't exactly have high hopes, but... Oh! Oh, he's talking about the app? Yeah? Oh. Well, deleting it's not gonna do any good because it always came back to our phone. But that's interesting. It's also really creepy. He does have a point. I mean... He was the one that discovered that it was a navigation app. And... If he has it too, then that means I guess Ryuji could head on into that place by himself if he really wanted to. I don't exactly have high confidence in this plan, but hey, I might be surprised. <sighs> Yikes, heading into the metaverse is really exhausting. And that is going to be a recurring thing throughout the day. If you do head on into a palace, then you won't be able to do any nighttime activities. Your entire evening is taken up and you will need to head straight to bed. So, do be careful whenever you want to head on into the metaverse. Still, we've got school in the morning. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Uh... Well, it's not as jarring as it was the first time, so... I guess... Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. I think you flatter me too much. Your rehabilitation determines if ruin can be stopped. Yet, 
Such a feat cannot be done by you alone. But today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, haven't you? You mean Ryuji? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. So, this is the power of a confidant. Mechanically, it works identical to how social links worked in 3 and 4. There will be people around town that we'll be able to interact with and then spend time with. We'll see what sort of, of problems ail them and then try to help them overcome those problems. Now, what's different with the confidants compared to social links isn't exactly how it's done, but what you get from them. And, of course, we can access the confidants through the menu. Now, what I mean by that is that social links for 3 and 4, the primary purpose was to give bonus experience to fused personas. And you still get that in Persona 5. In 3, that was all social links did. In 4, if they were a party member, you could get access to additional abilities, from those party members, but those were the only perks that you got, that and the fox. However, confidants are quite a bit different. Confidants can give you special abilities that you would not get access to otherwise. Sometimes this will be discounts at certain shops, Sometimes it's an added ability unique to, like, say, certain party members. Sometimes it's an additional ability, and sometimes it can even grant us additional actions in our day. There are a variety of different benefits that you get by developing confidants. And there are definitely certain confidants that you should prioritize simply because of the effects that they give you. So, that is one of the reasons why, like, I wanted to basically run my own guide. Because there are certain confidants that I prioritize that maybe some other people wouldn't prioritize as strongly. So, like I said, I'm doing this my way. But know that confidants are extremely important. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. Well, you best, better not disappoint then. shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the full persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. With this, we have established a new confidant with Igor, the prison master of the Fool Arcana. 
So this is an example of a special ability that we get by developing certain confidants. Now, some of the confidants are plot related, so they will progress automatically. And the fool, just like in three and four, is an example of one of those confidants. So by reaching rank one of the fool arcana, we get access to wild talk. This allows us to talk to shadows when we do a hold up. So rather than initiating an all out attack, we'll be able to talk to them for certain benefits. We'll get into that once we actually, you know, hold up a shadow. And we also get Arcana Burst. So basic bonus experience by proxy of how far along we are in a certain confidant. Exactly the same as how it was in three and four. All right. So we have Wild Talk and Arcana Burst. Okay, and this is exactly what I just mentioned before. Hooray for explaining things before the game does. Like I said, you can look into the confidant section in the menu and you will be able to see a list of all of your confidant abilities, as well as what you will unlock next alongside what rank you need to be. You don't necessarily gain an effect with each rank up. We saw that with Ryuji. We didn't get anything by getting rank one with him and you won't get it for every single rank, but you do get progressively more beneficial effects the further along you are in a confidant. So we can take a look at that the next time we get. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Okay, will do. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. I can't do this. Yeah, occasionally you will be able to just hear other students' conversations as you're walking to school. Just like in 4. Okay, quiet down. Some 
nurse's office. You get that side. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That definitely wasn't an accident. Got it. All right, well, do you have any idea where we should start looking then? Good. Uh, yeah, thanks to those stupid rumors. And now we can fast travel! Hooray! So now we can just travel to any place that we have been to previously by hitting the R1 button. So by doing this, we can take a look as to everywhere that we can currently go to in the school. So we can head on over to the first floor, second floor, third floor, our own classroom, or the courtyard. Now, Ryuji said that the first guy we should talk to is in our class. So the best place to look would be there. And it looks like there's someone right over here. Jeez. Well, it's better not to just ask him straight out. Uh, you look pretty beat up. How'd you get those injuries? The guy can't be concerned? Look, we won't tell anyone. Are you just scared about what Kamoshida would do to you? Damn it! Ryuji, you're not helping! Well, this is going to be difficult.
He's definitely got a hold on the volleyball players. We don't have that much time. Why don't we split up and try to cover more ground? Start there then. All right, good luck, Ryuji. So, yeah, that is basically, well, the game telling you, yeah, the third floors are on the first floor. So, yeah, we need to find where this student is. Up. Hmm? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just right in front of you. Some people who don't buy into that. Well, comforting as that is, we have a mission to do. Okay, so where would this guy be? Um, actually, maybe over on the other side. Or, no, that's the courtroom. This is the classroom building. Um. Kind of odd. Uh, maybe I can maybe eavesdrop on a different conversation. That is not quite what I expected to have happen, but okay, that'll work. Uh, you guys on the volleyball team? Get that training would be tough, but are you sure it's not abuse? Uh huh, sure.
Well, it's at least a lead. So yeah, we can just hit the square button and we can immediately view our text messages. And we'll see that icon if there's anyone that's tried contacting us. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned that we only see the first 50. Like I said, not really important after you initially get them. But we can just head on up the stairs. We could try fast traveling, but honestly, I think this is actually a little bit faster. And I think... Yeah. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, where are those injuries? Hold up, special coaching? I can't do it. <laughs> All right, very well then. Damn it. It's something. But it's nothing conclusive. A wild guess as to how well it went. Alright, let's get going. Can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, yeah, sure. What is it? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? Uh, Ryuchi, do you know that girl? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? <laughs> Emphysema. <laughs> yeah, actually, now that you mention it, uh, one of the first years mentioned a kid named Mishima. Special coaching, huh? Yeah, it didn't sound good either. True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Sounds like a plan.
Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? Hm. You know, you have quite an amazing spike there, Kamoshida. <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious, after all. That's your own goddamn fault. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Why would they do that? Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. So now what do we do? I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Well, that was fruitless. In fact, it was even more than fruitless. Ugh. I mean, no one is going to talk to us, not just because we are like the, I suppose, bad students, for lack of a better word, but if what Mishima said was true, even if we were like, normal students, even if we were, like, upstanding students, no one would talk to us. No one would do anything to stand up to Kamoshida. Not the students, not the parents, not the teachers, not the principal. No one. No one is going to help us. So, Kamoshida just basically does whatever the hell he wants and gets away with it because no one will dare stand up to him. So he abuses students. He physically abuses them during practice. 
because no one dare says a word against him. No one dares to get on his bad side or else, he, like, he gets, he kicks them off the volleyball team, which is essentially like a death sentence for their perceived futures. That's a load of crap. A teacher shouldn't have that much power. A teacher should not have that much control. And especially if he abuses that control by physically abusing students. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we've gotta do something. Anything. It's just... I don't know. I don't think Ryuji's gonna get anywhere just by talking to people. But trying to take any sort of action would likely get us expelled, and that comes with its own set of consequences. Oh, what the hell do we do? Well, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But, I'm tired. We should get to bed. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5. After that fruitless endeavor, we're just going to continue going through school. We've got to think of something. Something that would uncover those abuses without getting us expelled. Trying to do that balancing act, though, is going to be difficult, but... Damn it, we've got to do something. I'm not just going to sit back and do nothing. Like what literally everyone else is doing. There's got to be a way. There's just got to. Until next time, everyone. Take care.